Hello and welcome to Valley Art Center for the annual student faculty exhibition walkthrough. The annual student faculty exhibit is one of our favorite exhibits of the year. It's an excellent chance for our students to kind of show off and brag about all of the wonderful and beautiful and amazing things, the amazing progress that they've made in class every year, and to shine next to their instructors. So um, we're going to take a couple minutes with each piece. This first piece is Cuyahoga Valley National Park by Darlene Jackson. It's a watercolor. Um, interestingly, Darlene Jackson is our longest tenured instructor at Valley Art Center. She's been teaching watercolor here uh, since 1970. Next, we have Fireline by Philip Kep. This is an oil painting. Next, we have Vineyard View by Joanne Carroll, also an oil painting. Fall Meadow by John Altieri, watercolor. Let me get some space for this one. This is The Greens and Golds of Autumn by oil painting instructor Rob Crombie, and it is an oil painting, obviously, because that's what he teaches. Walk in the Woods by Julie Clayman. This is a pastel. Clemens Lane by Susan Nelson, oil painting. Twilight's First Breath by Debbie Kuhn. Kuhn? I apologize for any mispronunciation. I don't know some of these last names. Acrylic. Bliss by Holly Rankin. This is watercolor and ink. Rooftops by Nancy Minter. This is an oil painting. This untitled work by Carolyn D'Amato is an acrylic. Now we're going to pan around a little bit. Take a look at this ceramic piece by Devin Ullman. This is a bamboo handle basket, and this is all clay. I like some of these colors that came out on the glaze here. Here we have On a Windy Day by George Scarl, oil painting, and then a collection of ceramic pieces here. This is Lacey Tray by Dan Simone. Muddy Waters by Lynn Vale. And Pot Number Three by Katie Simone. So I'm actually Dan, and Katie's my wife. And we took this ceramic course together with our ceramics instructor, Laura Ferrando, and it was super fun. And I highly recommend that if you're a couple or a group or a few people that are trying to come up with a class to do together. Here we have Sweet on You, E-W-E, haha, <laughs> by Sharon Fedor. This is acrylic. And Follow Buck by Ellen Smith. This is an oil painting. Here we have Homeless by painting instructor Victoria Wagner. This is actually a print of a watercolor, and it's a limited edition print uh, for sale to support a cause for homelessness. We have more information on that if you'd like. Panning around. We have Study, Anticipation by Janet Mast, watercolor. Family Ornaments by Nancy Gary, watercolor. Swirls of Life by Nick Grassi. This is an acrylic. Here we have Red Vase by Lori Weed, ceramic. Again, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that last name. What I do want you to look at is this cool texture on the side of these handles. Pretty neat. 
This is Smell of Summer by our painting instructor, Judy Bennett. This is acrylic. This untitled piece is by Linda Zelazny and is acrylic. Call Any Vegetable by Sue Mullen, watercolor. All right, now we're gonna look at a, all of this jewelry. We're gonna kind of go across each piece individually, but I just want you to see like how many pieces. This is so cool. These are um, Kim Matisse students, our jewelry instructor. We've got children's work in here mixed in with adult work. Um, you'll notice on some of these tags, a blue dot, that does signify a child's piece. This is A Piece of the Rainbow by Delaney Crawford. I'm going to do the top row first. Fancy Fruit by Emma Gordon-Reed. Rainbowlicious by Kriya Bandari. Quiet Rhythms by Jewelry Instructor Kim Mati. Serendipity by Lori Dean. Contemplation Stones by Susanna Beletza. And that red dot there means that this piece has sold. Remember by Elizabeth Grisais. Antique Feather by Brianna Bioni. A Burst of Spring by Darcy Osborne. Ethereal by Audrey Holmes. Continuing down to the lower level, we'll start over here with Still Water by Emily Allen. You can't quite see the color of the seed beads. I really like that green. We have Emerald Meadow by Ellis Crutchko. Golden by Sarah Bullington. There we go. The First Five, this is a necklace and earring set by Caleb Zelch. Let me see if we can't, these colors blow out really bad. This bracelet is Autumn Woods by Mackenzie Verderber. This set of necklace and earrings is titled Pride by Kate Allen. Some cool little color details going on here. State of Being by Vivian Tatal. This is another necklace and earring set. Winter Web by Lena Tucker. I don't know. There's a lot of little colors in these seed beads. I don't know if they're showing up very well in this video. But that's just another reason for you to come in and see them in person. And last in our jewelry section is Gold Parade by Sachi Bandari. Continuing on, this watercolor is titled Hydrangeas, and it is by Elaine Murphy. Front Porch Glads by watercolor instructor Janet Matee. Flights of Fancy by Catherine Ullman. This is a watercolor. As is Into the Garden by Chris Marshall. And... Come Sit by Carol Consola. Next is Orchid Number 17 by Patrick Funky. Prairie Fire by Jessica Nelson, watercolor. Liquid Blossom by Judy Kobik, watercolor. Artichoke by Kareem Castrini. This is acrylic. French Garden by Karen West. Oil. Here we have Canoes by Karen Malloy. This is an oil painting. First Light by Laura LaChapelle. Oil. 
Minnow Marshes by Mara Flynn, watercolor. Brandywine Falls by Jennifer Paz, oil. Winter Fun by Dan Shoemaker, watercolor. Joshua Tree by Donna Trivison, oil. Untitled Work by Betty Ostu, watercolor. Santa Maria Piazza, Rome by Barbara Schmidt, also a watercolor. We'll pan around for a moment. I've got a few more pieces to check out. This cute little corner is Floating Hydrangeas by Mary McLeod Acrylic. Emerging by Andrea Dawson, Mixed Media. And Waves by the Sea by ceramics instructor Carla Gasello. Another quick pan for you. Here's another grouping of ceramic pieces. This is a Serving Tray Forli di Sanio by Laura Ferrando. Interestingly, all of this work here is a laser toner decal that's worked into the glaze somehow. You could ask Laura about that if you take classes with her. This piece is Sheep Bowl by Tiffany Perry. And this is a Scraffito Mug by Bridget Mahoney. So there you have it. That is the, this year's annual student faculty exhibit. This exhibit is open through March 9th. You can see it during our normal business hours, uh, Monday through Saturday. Please come in and check it out. And also while you're here, make sure you cast your vote for the Frank and Yolita Roush People's Choice Awards for cash prizes, $150 for the uh, highest voted adult piece and a hundred dollars the highest voted child pieces as I mentioned before in the exhibit children's entries are signified by a blue dot on the label and the winner will be drawn Monday February 28th so please have your votes in before then thank you very much we hope to see you soon <laughs>